Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Simulator Classic video. We are back and it's the final section of our North Wales Coastline Adventure in Pacer. Uh, and the 158 which is, is just behind. Uh, we're going to be driving from Pestatin all the way over to <coughs> Chester. 26 miles. Um, and it's non-stop as well which is really quite nice. Uh, as there'll be a sort of first couple of sections we, we stopped all the time, and then sort of that last third section, slightly less stops. That'd be just a non stop run to Chester. <coughs> sort of the older danger overhead live wires sign there. Oh, we've got just waiting for time here at Prostatin, which yeah, I suppose. I wonder if it actually ever. I wonder if it used to have. I wonder if it originally was an island platform, so you got one here as well. And there's all this footbridge that's really sort of new and snazzy. So I wonder if it, yeah, it might be used to just be that side there, and then this bit here. This isn't like quite a new build at the station. Or maybe it's just a new, well, that's a new station in general. I don't know. Probably sort of a Reaver colours there. I know this scenario is set in the 90s, but obviously the route itself hasn't changed. Which, saying that, is as well, it's not, I wouldn't really say it's, a, it's not a shame at all, but, you know, for something like the 319, uh, the Brighton main line was backdated for that. Uh, there's cert yeah, certain things where. Or certain AP scenarios where things actually are sort of backdated. Yeah, I think that with, the, with the 319, you had like a part of the 90s scenarios. Actually, it did look like the 90s BML. You know, connect signs and stuff. But on this day. Right, we're off. We're doing to Chester at 51. So you probably did get a little bit of leeway there. So it's about 23 minutes to Chester. We'll get there. Up to 85 miles an hour, which I'm sure we can get up to. I know the max speed is running 75, but uh, I saw a little bit over. Never mind. It's the 90s. Oh, it's actually changed the area now. We're now 065. Didn't realise it changed automatically. We were on 017 to begin with. Our little FM 1000. The National Rail. No, National Radio Network, I think it's called. What's it stands for? First train I've actually used it, I never used it on um, any other trains before. It's very basic, though. So on this, this is probably going to be a bit more like angle C, where we can still see that still. But still not as scenic, or well, still nice and scenic, but not as scenic as um, in the previous sort of two sections where we were sort of straddling the uh, the coast. A bit more inland this section. We've actually got a few stations we're passing from. I think it was Flint and Shotton. So they're the only ones we're passing through on this section. There's Shotton. There's Flint back there. Don't there's any others. Probably disused ones, but. Yeah, it's a fairly quick. Quite quick as well, this is 75 miles an hour. Bounce. 
bouncy bouncy on this bit. 75 limit for that as well. Now, I think there actually is a couple of band. Oh, here's one here. One of the abandoned ones. This is Mostyn. No, there's one a bit further off this one. Talakere. Oh no, hang on, no. Yeah, Talakere. Ta 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 Signal as well, as we like to see. And early on. There it goes. So quite sort of, well, just this for, uh, oh, no, 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 we are sort of on the coast actually. Yeah, we are still on the coast. I don't think I feel that long though, just to stay on this bit. That's a nice screenshot. shot. Yeah. Let's get one whilst we're on the well, whilst we remain on the coast. Might as well get another one like that. Okay. Nice and quick though, seventy five miles an hour. It's not slow by any means. So when you think North Wales coastline, it uh, straight comes to my mind, slow, sort of 50 miles an hour or so, but no, it's quite quick. In terms of all the curves and stuff, it's still quick. stations which we will be reopened in the future. You know, all the infrastructure is still there. Especially if there's like a new house in development around here. Can we see this like reopened? No, 90. Yeah, I think, yeah, would, would the driver change engine, Chester? Or no, would you just go off on this bit here? Yeah, we go off on this bit here, wouldn't you? I don't know if that heads towards the sort of Liverpool direction that up there. This one here, maybe, how this bit. They travel quite a distance, though. So. Yeah, two hours from. Well, it must be more than that, actually. We've got two and a half, three hours from Manchester to uh, Hollyhead. And that's about sort of most of the day as well. So I suppose the train could probably do... I'd imagine they probably do about four runs a day. Well, two, sort of two return journeys. You know, sort of first one in the morning, sort of six-ish. Gets there for nine. And then back for about half twelve. Yeah, maybe one, yeah, back to Manchester for four, and 
to the back for about seven back in the depot maybe or a little short run somewhere. Must be quite cool to see sort of um, how they plan the timetables for the, these sorts of long runs to where the unit's going to then stay for the night. Flint, you know, where, where's, Flint, where's this Flint station? There it is there. That's sort of the first official one we, we pass. And then Shotton and then Chester. We actually are still on the coast. I did think this came in a bit more inland, but no, we are still very much uh, by the coast. So, yeah, so, so, hang on, is that one for you? Is that one for you? I didn't really notice there was much shadow in on this, but in the scenario it's just been, you know, sunny, shadow, sunny, shadow. And this is Flint, let's get a photo by shot. Seems like yeah, a fairly built up place. We're still relatively close to the coast. Was it? What was the place 
a hill. After Staten, that's it. Sounds like some sort of US city. I'm pretty it is, yeah, but Staten. It is, isn't it? It is a city in the US, I think. Just there. Stretching the pacer's legs a little bit, it's the 90s, they can't monitor us. The nearest high level and low level to me would have probably been, doesn't exist anymore, it would have been East Grinstead. East Grinstead uh, used to have a, used to have a low level station and a high level station, and that's the low level station. Oh, wait, were we going to cross it or not? Do we, no, maybe, maybe we don't cross it then. It's a cool bridge there, but we, we just don't, we don't, we don't cross it. The next one is Chester. Which I don't know, still just feel, I don't know. No, I was about to say it still feels quite a way away, but then I've literally just said it's within touch and distance. Oh, did we just go over the canal there? Eh? Seven minutes now. Let's see. Only six miles. So yeah, six minutes, six, seven minutes. I don't think there is any other stations we pass through. So yeah, quite quick from uh, well, basically from Clandidno Junction to Chester, it's quite a quick section. There'd be like Clandidno Junction to Chester trains which then stop at every station. 
there's a regional railway as well. Yeah, this is sort of the not so exciting bit though. Coast is well and truly gone now. I recognise that asset. I swear that asset is used on TSW as well. I need to coast away. That will be all over. Sort of, uh, shelter. I think Chester's a fairly big place, we should start to sort of get a bit more built up soon. Sort of uh, industrial set, uh, as, uh, area here. Bit of sort of on the outskirts of Chester. Cows chilling out. I think we're probably in England now as well. Enjoying the video, enjoying the journey. Feel um, free to leave a thumbs up, and, and we do well. We'll do plenty more of this. So uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. And if you want to see the bit from Chester to Crewe, check out the Mersey Rail Pacer video. Because in that we go from Chester to Crewe on a winter's evening. Then we fit in the whole North Wales coastline. Just in case, never know. Are we going to get a warning board for the? Uh, here we are. There's a warning for the fifty. Is that a bridge that was on about? We're coming to. Uh, Screenshot here actually. I think we missed the opportunity though now. Yeah. We probably missed the opportunity on that one. Welcome to Chester. Which is a 
type of activity. Nice and slow, it's on a bit of a blind corner. There it is. Scary red. Hidden behind the windscreen wiper. Is it approach control? No, it probably just won't let us in. But no, not going now. We're gonna get stuck here for eternity. I hope it does let us go through. But it's not approach control then. We are going quite slow, so. Quite, oh no, maybe it is. And here we are. We did it all the way from Hollyhead. That's quite an accomplishment because I've never done a full run. So it's usually just halfway so from here to Clandidno or Hollyhead to Clandidno Junction. I'm glad we managed to do that. And we did it right as well. There we are. Well, that is going to be everyone uh, for today's run. We'll pass this over to, well, no, pass this over to the other driver. We'll take it to uh, colourless Manchester uh, Piccadilly. Um, yeah, that's going to be from me. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places. Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in. Thanks for joining us on this Welsh adventure. And hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.